So, <clears throat> look what we stumbled across. This is uh, <laughs> for the urbex community known as the railway graveyard in Tenterden, which is actually part of the uh, operational, fully operational railway, um, which is just literally down the road. Or well, down the track, should I say? Uh, the yeah, Lark Railway. Now, all the, all the oh, it's really weird. All there is is basically just abandoned railway trains that aren't in use anymore. And we're we're starting at the back. And the first one that we've come across is the crane operated one. At any moment we could quite easily get caught we're technically not allowed to be here because we are sort of but again we didn't force in any entry there was a natural entry that was open and we're only here to document it we're not here to vandalize or anything else so just in case you are somebody who is familiar with this place we generally don't mean any harm and for everybody else who's stupid enough to come down here and do anything like that then shame on you but we're just here to document it it's a fascinating place He's taking some photos. <laughs> to wear helmets on there. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to go the other side. Yeah, just because we walked down that way. But yeah, look. That must have been the boiler to operate it. Look at that. Awesome up there. Yeah. I think the camera's picking it, picking it up pretty well actually. A little spring on the chain. Right, look at that. So yeah, let's have a look around. So, I'm not a railway enthusiast, I don't pretend to be. I'm just a lover of history. And something like this kind of brings out the child in me a little bit, you know. I might as well stand by me. Some people who are young enough not to remember that. If not watch it, it's a great film. Oh. It's a ghost of one of the trains. <laughs> Can I get round? Actually, no the answer. It's too overgrown. The line would have carried on anyway. I mean this is part of the original line anyway. You can sort of see the where we are. Finger doom it sort of dips down. The railway track would have gone across. Now I'm sure some people are gonna get angry. Not here to do any damage. I think unfortunately, the camera is not really doing the scope of this wonderful thing any justice. I don't think the camera's actually doing it much justice, really.
Got to look quite similar to um, the train set. There's some writing up there that's obviously from that set they haven't reached up in that hole from the train. I don't think it's going to pick it up, unfortunately. The floorboards are pretty much rotten. You can see from underneath that. It's an ankle breaker right there. Yeah, and hold on to the yeah. <laughs> oh look, welcome to the world of being old. No, spiders. Oh. What they're a lot then? Oh yeah. Oh crap. <laughs> so, <laughs> the camera's just filming your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Urban glamour. <laughs> I was just getting trained. We just stand up here so everybody gets a true perspective of it. It's like a giant Hornby set, but that's all been broken and smashed up. But all the pieces are kind of like there for you to look at. So actually, that's quite a good scale actually, Kay, where you are compared to those wheels. Those walls look, well they are mega big, but it's kind of hard when you... Uh. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning into a very dodgy... Uh, thing. Yeah. I'd love to be a train enthusiast and kind of know exactly what all this is. But unfortunately, I don't. Sure, we'll find one. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's out. Or maybe the actual railway company themselves will probably have a go at us and be like, "What are you doing on here? You shouldn't be there." Mm -hmm. oh, they're clean, don't they? Look at the chairs. That's the original chair cover in there. Oh wow! All the rest have been burnt up. But that's the pattern. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like a paisley pattern. Oh man, that's grim. Grim's the new word of the day at the moment. Oh, what is going on in there? Let's try it. Get in there. The head's cutting. They are, aren't they? And the pin that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, look at that. Some more. Oh, wait, I'm a fan for markings. Markings oh, yeah. roll. <laughs> the thing with markings is that you can always try to date it a little bit better. Look at that. To be fair, you don't really need to get in there to know what's in there, really, do you? I mean, it's not... I mean, like, it's pretty... You can see it. Oh, she's off. Just filming your butt there again. My camera is exceptional today. Oh, we are the original steering wheel. The original steering wheel. We're going to put a fake one on there. It's wobbly, isn't it? Okay, you're not coming up. No, you can do it. You know, check out if you know what I mean. Oh my god, we've got a windscreen button, we've got 
What's that? Car engine start push button window. <laughs> Got windscreen wiper. Oh my god. Got engine top push button and the horn opposite end. we got I'm trying not to go through the floor okay release David's and Metcalf drivers straight air brake valve oh my god and there's the isolator on and off. It's so cool. We got a windscreen wiper button. <laughs> it's not on off pull buttons. Engine only. Oh wow. That is cool. until a rat or something jumps out of me <laughs> <laughs> you can have it back <laughs> wonder how old it is imagine if the horn was still there <laughs> the horn button is there but it's, yeah it's obviously it's just solid now what's that pyrene let's make some pulled yes <laughs> it's so exciting and of course we have oh look we got a dimmer switch ah oh, it still works boiler warning light and then a pressure gauge oh there's the horn uh -huh. oh, yeah, cool. oh some of this feels a bit dodgy oh. it's so cool the door still open and closes Playing with a door handle. <laughs> Be sure, wasp. So I shall walk you through. Do -do -do -do. I want to be careful where I tread. Oh wow! I think I'm going to get him inside here in a minute because this is awesome. There's so much to see. A little bird's nest, granted, but. God, that's like, it's like original step. Let's <laughs> try and walk you down this side, we? <laughs> Can't go all the way down. Whoops. Ooh. So funny. On this side, I'm coming back round, hang on. There's just so much to see. <gasps> oh, wow. It's always good to be a nosy myrtle. Do you not remove crankcase doors for 15 20 minutes after stopping the engine? Huh? Precautions against crankcase explosion. Oh, 
Wow. Whoops. Oi. Whoop. Whatever that is, it's still got water in it. What? Oh my god, you so need to come up. Oh look, oh, it's got another one. Do not something fuel pumps to this engine. Oops. <laughs> Mr. CO2, hold it number one. That way. <laughs> That's our first sign. Hmm. Oh, the only thing that's missing on there is the date. Oh, cobweb. Oh, more cobweb. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's really cool. My God, there is so much to see. Thank you. Purple and jumpful. <laughs> Compressor, and uh, I don't know what that one does. Oh, you've got cubicle lights. Oh, I can find one on my head. Mm. Exhausters. How oh, cool. Control circuit. Cool beans. you can work right we've pretty much done it now i'm going to just show you the side of it though because you haven't seen that um this wonderful train the final one in the sequence And then there you go. And then there's there is another carriage over there as you can see, but finger of doom as Kay's cracking her head open. But that's pretty much on the line of the main rail and we didn't really want to go anywhere past this where it says stop and await instructions. So there you go. So that we've um, tinted in 
train graveyard. Okay, wax your head again. Um, so, say goodbye, Kay. Bye. So, everybody, have fun with what you're doing, and take care. Bye.